Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe, please like the videos. Um, there's a wide range of topics on them, from slurry spreading to bale and silage to doing repairs, everything. Basically in the day-to-day -day runnings of an agricultural contracting business is in these videos. So it would be much appreciated if anyone who hasn't already subscribed, subscribes now and hits the little bell underneath the subscribe button so you will be notified every time we publish a new video today as you can see we have the new holland tm behind us um and today we are going taking out the radiator and i'm going getting the radiator repaired because unfortunately we have a leak um i was going along the road the other day and i just heard a bit of a ping and it was coolant flying out of the radiator. The radiator is only about a year old, so hopefully it can be repaired. If not, we'll have to change the radiator. But that's what we're going to get at today. Uh, unfortunately, it's a Friday, and I do need the tractor. So hopefully the radiator repair place is going to be able to do something with it today. And we should have it back by 6 o'clock, all going well. So we need to say two prayers, and one of them is... I'm going to get that back for this evening and get it out in a timely fashion and it's not going to rain because as you can see we're outside uh, the shade is full I have nowhere to walk on it inside so I will tackle that now and I will notify you throughout the video of how we're getting on at the progress of it um, a small bit of history about this tractor uh, it's briefly covered in the yard tour I'd say we have it about five years now there's 13 and a half, 14,000 hours in this tractor. Um, it's performed fairly well, but it hasn't been without its problems. Um, much the same as everything else. These are definitely one of the most popular tractors that were ever sold, or not ever sold, in the last 20 years they were sold. They're up there with the 6000 series John Deere's. Um, everywhere you go in the world, there's a TM. So this model, the 140, came out in 2002. It finished production in 2007 and this one is actually a very late model, 2006 model. Um, a funny weird thing about this one is it's actually on number plate this is 2002 reg and that's because it's from front tombstone was damaged and that's where your serial number is so obviously there was um, a tombstone off of uh, a scrapped 2002 model put on it. Uh, when we bought the tractor we had to re-register it when it came to Southern Ireland and it ended up being registered off of that chassis number but everything else on the tractor um, works off of a 2006 serial number. So that's a small bit about TMs. Um, unbelievable amount of power in these tractors. They pull a house down uh, but thirsty, unbelievably thirsty on fuel. Compared to the CVX, um, if I was bailed, when I, this used to be on the baler, I often got bait, I'd have to come back and fill a diesel and I would um, I would have to either get someone to bring me diesel or come back and fill, whereas uh, I think once that's happened to me in the CVX and we were up in a ridiculous amount of bales that day. So I'm going to get stuck into this, um, you'll be able to give a bit of a look at what I'm doing and hopefully, touch wood, We'll have it back and going by this evening. So the first job was to remove our boost pipes. They're now off and I haven't put into the tractor. Um, and obviously to drain our coolant as well was another job that had to be done so that's done. So now I have our pipes going to our oil cooler and I have two air conditioning pipes as well. So. Hopefully when I rip the bracket there in, they'll be able to come to the side a small bit to save ripping them in two places and taking them off completely. Um, then it's basically our cowl around our fan that's bolted onto the radiator and in the radiator itself should come out. So all in all, uh, handy enough to get it out so far. Hopefully we'll run into no complications and we should have it out there in the next 10 minutes that way. So once it's out I'll update you and We'll see how we're going. 
So we've all our pipes off now. Um, they will move out of the way. Them top ones, I've the bracket loosened at the other side for them. So they're moving off. All our pipes are off at this side. All we've left to do now is the two bolts holding in the red, and it'll come out. So unfortunately, it started pissing rain. Um, so, and one of my biggest pet hates is getting wet. I hate getting wet with a passion. So. I'm going to tear on and get this out, but uh, on the upside we found something, and what we found was a spanner. The spanner obviously left in here from the last job that was into it, so this will probably be in my position for all of about 30 seconds and it'll be misplaced again. Um, I'm a bit of a, a wreck that way, but um, so let me know, are you tidy? Would you keep all your tools tidy? or? Are you a bit of a, a mess um, and have stuff thrown everywhere, which is the way I am. Um, anyway, I'm going to whip this out and uh, I'll update you there when it's coming out.